Hello students, in this video we'll discuss properties of the Pareto distribution. A random variable x has Pareto distribution with parameters alpha and theta if its PDF has the form f of x is alpha theta to the alpha over x plus theta to the alpha plus 1 for values of x which are positive. So let's find some properties of this Pareto distribution. First, note f of x is decreasing on 0 to infinity, which implies that the mode of the Pareto distribution is 0. Let's next compute the median, or the mean. So the expected value of a random variable x with these Pareto distributions will be found by doing the integral from 0 to infinity of alpha theta to the alpha over x plus theta to the alpha x dx. And so now what we'll do is we'll make a substitution in this integral. What we can say is we can say let's let u be x plus theta. Then x is u minus theta. And with this substitution, our integral becomes alpha theta to the alpha, those are constants. Then I'll have the integral from 0 to infinity of x dx, but x is going to be a u minus theta du, and my denominator will turn into a u to the alpha, and these would be an alpha plus 1 plus 1, so I'll have a u to the alpha plus 1 in my denominator. So we can simplify this as alpha theta to the alpha, and my bottom limit integration is a theta. The integral from theta to infinity of u to negative alpha minus theta u to negative alpha minus 1 du. An antiderivative of this will be u to negative alpha plus 1 over negative alpha plus 1 minus theta u to negative alpha over negative alpha evaluated from theta up to infinity. And now we can note that this will be a convergent integral. This will converge only if alpha is bigger than 1. And so in particular, if alpha is bigger than 1, the top limits of integration will be 0. And the bottom limit will be alpha theta to the alpha. And then I'll have a theta to negative alpha plus 1 over negative alpha plus 1. And then this is going to be a, and this is the bottom limit of integration, so we have a negative sign out in front of everything. And then this will be a plus theta and then theta to negative alpha over alpha. So the theta to the alpha will multiply these thetas to negative alpha and cancel out, and so we're left with a negative alpha on the outside, and then a theta over 1 minus alpha plus theta over alpha. And so if we add this together, we'll have a negative alpha on the outside, and then I'll have a theta alpha, and then I'll have a plus theta, and a minus theta alpha over alpha and 1 minus alpha. So now these terms over here will cancel. And this alpha will cancel with this. And so what we'll be left with is we'll be left with negative theta over 1 minus alpha. So if we clean this up a little bit, we will have a theta over alpha minus 1. And this is the mean of the Pareto distribution. So this is our mean. Oftentimes, in other 
formulations of the Pareto distribution, we'll see an alpha on top, and that's if the random variable does not have this theta in the denominator and the support starts when x is larger than theta. Thank you very much.